good old PFF That website that we love and hate all at the same time We love when they make these different lists The top 10, top 5, this and that Who are the strongest position groups in the NFL Like we about to go over now But then when we see those in-game ratings Those grades They can be really, really weird Because you'll see a player have a great game And their PFF grade will be terrible Then you'll see a player have a not-so-great game And their PFF grade will be super, super high So I don't understand their rating systems with that But it is what it is But today, like we mentioned PFF made a list about the strongest position groups in the NFL And of course, our Baltimore Ravens were on there Not once, but twice And you know what? I'm actually surprised they're not on there for a third position group as well But let's take a look So, strongest position groups in the NFL Starting with the quarterbacks They gave it to the Chiefs Obviously, Patrick Mahomes Don't even matter who the backup quarterback is But Patrick Mahomes, strongest position group in the NFL at Quarterback, Chief, oh, we get it We respect it, Hon yep, that's true Okay, no problem But the Baltimore Ravens, for running backs They took that one So the, the PFF feels like the Baltimore Ravens Have the strongest running back room in the league Obviously, they got Derrick Henry But I think it's more than it being about Derrick Henry Obviously Derrick Henry been doing his thing for the longest Been behind his Titans offensive line for the longest Been producing for the longest And been his, he's been a focal point of the offense that he has been on for the longest But he still puts up numbers every single year It's crazy, it doesn't even make no sense how he does it But he does it But I, I think with him, they're looking at situation. Because they got Derrick Henry, you got Justice Hill, you got Rasheen Ali. So when you're thinking about that, oh, that's the strongest running back group in the NFL in the league, really? Could it be? But I think they're thinking about two things that we're not mentioning. Um, one, the circumstances for Derrick Henry. Completely new circumstances. He will not be the only focal point for the Baltimore Ravens offense. So that should make him even stronger. That should make him even more powerful for the Baltimore Ravens. But another thing, too, Keith Mitchell. Now we know Keith Mitchell He's not going to be ready At the start of the season uh, He may not even be ready At the midpoint of the season Hopefully he is hey, Hopefully we get a nice surprise And he can be ready even earlier But we can't realistically expect it Since he got hurt late So, so late last year Excuse me um, But I think they're thinking About him as well And with everything that he did Last year He showed like Yeah He's ready for the league How did he go undrafted? No clue Makes no sense But I'm glad that It ended up happening Because he got to come To the Baltimore Ravens And make his mark Then he is going to be If he can stay healthy It's going to be An amazing running back uh, For the Baltimore Ravens And just for the NFL In general But I, I see why they chose The Baltimore Ravens As the strongest position group When it comes to Running backs Wide receivers They chose the Bears Wow Out of the In the league I me, I probably would have went with the Dolphins Because they got Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, And then they just added Odell Beckham Jr. I would have went with the Dolphins for wide receivers So with them going with the Bears, okay, cool, whatever Now tight ends This is where I thought the Baltimore Ravens could have got it tight, But tight ends, they put the 49ers I'm like, okay, George Kittle Okay, what am I missing? What, what, what am I missing with the 49ers? I, I got to be missing something if they chose the 49ers over the Ravens because I would think, all right, 49ers, they got George Kittle. Maybe they might give it to the Chiefs with Travis Kelsey. But with the Baltimore Ravens, they got not only a top five, top three tight end in Mark Andrews, but they got Isaiah like, like, Likely too. And Isaiah Likely showed last year like, oh, no, he got it. He got it. And like I will continue to say, if Isaiah Likely ends up being a star, if he ended up being a starter, he'll be a top five tight end, no doubt in my mind at all. So I'm surprised that Ravens didn't take that one Offensive line, Lions Defensive line, Browns Linebackers, 49ers Cornerbacks, Jets But here is where the Baltimore Ravens They get another one And safeties They have the strongest safety group in the NFL According to PFF Now again we talked about scenario with them having the strongest running back room in the league But with safeties, something else to think about That's different than the running back room they got a Marcus Williams. When he's healthy, baller. The man can play. Whether you like him or not, you cannot deny that Marcus Williams can play some football. It's a great safety. He be doing his thing, again, when he's healthy. When he's not so healthy, when he's playing with one arm, trying to tackle people, and it wasn't looking so good. Yeah, that was frustrating to see sometimes. But when he's on, he is on. We've seen that the past couple of years. Now we just got to get him to stay on, stay on the field, that is, and remain healthy. Then you look... Opposite of him Well really opposite of everybody Because the other guy's not just a safety He's just a straight up baller That's Kyle Hamilton We know Kyle Hamilton 
does everything, does everything well, could play any position on defense, probably could play any position on offense too. And you can make a case. You can make a case. And people will definitely hear your case. You can make a case that Kyle Hamilton is the best safety in the NFL. You really could. Done. We ain't going to do that right now. We'll say he's the best defender on the Baltimore Ravens, though, for sure. But with Kyle Hamilton, you got him opposite Marcus Williams. So with people saying that the Baltimore Ravens have the best safety group in the NFL, with PFF saying that, I can't deny it. But another thing to consider when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens and the safety position for them, it's already considered the strongest in the league, but they are looking to make it even stronger. Because the Baltimore Ravens, while they have two really, really, really good safeties, great safeties, might I add, they still need another one because of how they run their defense. And depending on who they add, obviously they brought in Jamal Adams for a visit. I still think that could be a smokescreen. But depending on who they add, they are going to get even stronger. They're going to get even more solidified at the safety position. Now, I got somebody in mind who we've been talking about for a little while. I'm just waiting on Ravens to make it happen. Hopefully they do, but we'll see. But them having the strongest safety group in the league and then them getting ready to add another one on top of that, that's a beautiful thing. And, and, and that's something that it's a topic of conversation amongst Ravens fans, especially at certain positions, because... It's nice when you have when you have a good group, a good group of players at a certain position. But when you make them even stronger, that makes your team even better. That gives you even more quality depth. And obviously, you can't have the most depth at every single position across the board because the NFL salary cap is a thing. There's 31 other teams in the league, too. You ain't the only team in the league that's trying to add players. So you got to compete with them. And then other teams at, at times in certain positions, they may offer more money. Then the Baltimore Ravens may offer uh, to certain players at certain positions. So we get that. That's part of the business. But when you can make a strong position stronger, it's a beautiful thing. And, and we love seeing that with the Ravens. We just want them to dominate all across the board. But the fact that they have the best running back room, according to PFF, the best safety room, according to PFF, the best tight end room, according to me, then I'm good with that. Team, keep it clean. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single video, not a single update, not a single list that we cover. Leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a lot. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. We out.